being a non math student myself i definitely can understand the pain that a non math ip math aspirant goes through hi there saksham this side from ace ipm and in this video we are going to answer a question which is can a non math student crack ip math so without any further ado let's get started so a short answer to this question is definitely a yes but for a long answer we'll need to find it out also just so you know i am an ipm student myself i am the part of the first batch of iim rohtak ipm and on top of that i was able to clear both the section of quants in iim indoor's entrance with a good margin so i think i am eligible enough to answer this question so let's find out what does it actually take as a non math aspirant to crack this exam now non math scenario of ipm if you consider indoor the entrance contains higher math topics and there are fewer non math students that join ipmi i think the number is in single digits nevertheless there are people who are actually joining and are able to convert as a non math too in rohtak the entrance contains basic math topics so they do not really ask much of these higher math questions so it is easier for a non math aspirant to convert i am rohtak's ipm and that is why many non math students join ipmr i've never done any conclusive study but from what i know I think about 30 35 students in IIM Rohtak out of a batch of 140 are indeed non math students so there is definitely a scope when we consider Rohtak and what about new IPMs so supposedly IIM Bodh Gaya and IIM Ranchi are going to launch up their own IPMs too but for IIM Bodh Gaya they will take admission through IPMAT in those test scores so it pretty much remains the same as in Dor However how many student will actually be able to convert that is something we are yet to see because the programs have not started yet so by the looks of it indoor is definitely hard to crack for a non math student but i cannot say the same for rohtak also just so you know at least these colleges are letting you apply despite being a non math that is not the case with du jat for that even to apply you need to be a math student so at least that is not the case over here and at least there, there is some possibility that if you are dedicated enough you might as well clear this exam Now, I am Rohtak does not discriminate against non-math students. Uh, it's not exactly about discrimination. It is about uh, how welcoming they are to take in non-math students. So as their entrance is structured in a way that it does not really ask much of the higher math question, I would say I am Rohtak is more welcoming to non-math students. On top of that, even in their interview, even the questions that are very much academic focused. they do not really touch upon uh, maths so much unless you choose it yourself if you tell them that your favorite subject is math that is when they ask you questions about math otherwise that is not usually the case on the contrary when we consider i am in those ipm the entrance definitely is uh, on the difficult side uh, when you talk about the quantitative aptitude section it contains a lot of topics from higher math so that is pretty much out of reach for a non math aspirant if he does not prepare well and on top of that even in interview the interviews of indoor tend to be very academically oriented and over there they ask a lot of questions from math uh, specifically integration geometry and things like that so uh, statistically speaking a non math student definitely has a lesser chance to crack ipmi but it's again not impossible you still can crack it a lot of people do crack it and that too with a good all india rank and i'm not talking about those who get in after getting waitlisted I am talking about those people who are converting it in the first call itself and I am talking about non math students over here. Now, why do I say that it is still achievable despite the fact that the numbers or the odds are against you? Well, you have to understand that IP mat indoor is a low scoring entrance. So what do I mean by that? The total marks of the entrance is about 400 and if you are scoring anything above 200, you stand a very good chance of converting the call and that's literally 50%. and you have to consider that i'm not even talking about clearing the cutoff the cutoff remains somewhere around 130 150 i'm talking about getting a good score so that you are able to convert the final call as well so this particular exam and many other exams in the same domain they test your knowledge but under a very tight time constraint so it isn't limited to your knowledge or it isn't just about your knowledge but also if you can manage your time well so the way as a non math how you'd approach it as you have 40 questions from verbal ability which total up to 160 maximum marks let's take an example that you are doing see one thing is for sure if you are not very good at one section you have to nail the other one so if you are not very good with math you have to make sure that you are nailing the verbal ability section and by that i mean you are getting at least 110 120 if you are already getting 120 in verbal ability and if you are able to get 15 net correct uh, answers in your mcq section for math that is 60 marks and then you again score about 20 25 30 in your 
and you get 25, 30 marks in your short answer section, that will total up to 200 and more. Even if you are getting some less marks over here and there, you still get a good score of 200 and that is actually good. And, and you will actually be able to convert the call provided that you get a score like this. Now, how do you prepare for this? Now, this is a topic that I'll cover in a subsequent video. And meanwhile, you can have a look at our entrance prep offerings, which will help you develop your quants base from scratch. Now, what are the key benefits of joining us apart from being extremely affordable? The first being all the courses at SIPM are taught by those who have actually cleared the IPMAT exams themselves and have a deeper understanding of what it takes to get through. Second being our study material is made specifically for IPMAT after consultation with former IPM students. It will give you a complete understanding of how to crack this exam in your first attempt and to get rid of all the confusion regarding the aptitude test and pivot at the same time. Third being the mock test. So we have created specialized mocks for you after careful analysis of past papers and then predicting the future level based on them. It helps paint a true picture of your current standing and we then guide you on how to do better. And finally, uh, when we talk about getting unparalleled support from IPM mentors, Ace IPM completely crushes other institutes in this regard as we focus more on the needs of an individual and create customized learning paths for them. So our faculty is in direct touch with the aspirants should they need any help or take feedback. And on top of that, every student has a mentor who is a senior from IPM for proper guidance. So being small is actually one of our strengths as we are able to focus more on an individual rather than a group. So those were the key benefits uh, that you'll get if you were to join our course. And if you wish to join, we have special discounts running for our YouTube audience. So what you can do is you can head over to our website, aceipm.com, book a free counseling session, get your doubts cleared about the IPM exam or career options in general. And over there, you can also avail your special discount and get this course at the best possible price. So that's it from my side. Thank you for listening to me patiently. If you have any question that I did not cover in this video, you can leave it down in the comment section. If you found the video helpful, you can like it, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends who might actually get benefited by this. That is it for today. Thank you and have a good day.